Hi, this is Dr. Fast here. In this video, I will show you this car dash camera with a very unique design. Now, this one I have here is model number A118C. I got this from GearBest.com. I'll put a link for this item in the description below. Before I get into the features of this camera, let's first open this up and I'll show you what the camera looks like. So this is the car dash camera. Here's a cover for cable management. This is a mini USB cable. Here is the cigarette lighter plug to power the car dash camera. This is the user manual. Here we have the mount that you stick onto the windshield and the dash cam will clip onto this mount right here. It also comes with some stick-on cable management clips. Let's go through the spec on this dash cam. The LCD display is a 1.5 inch display. The image sensor is a 3 megapixel sensor. Uses a Novatech 96650 chipset with AR0330 CMOS sensor. The angle of the lens is 170 degrees wide angle. The resolution of the video recording is Full HD at 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second or high definition 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second. The compression format is H.264. Video output mode is NTSC or PAL. The operating temperature is minus 10 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. This dash cam requires a micro SD card, 4 gig to 32 gig, class 6 or above and it uses a standard 5 volt DC supply. As I mentioned earlier, the model number on this dash cam is A118C. The C represents capacitor. So this dash cam does not use a rechargeable lithium battery inside. Instead, it has a super capacitor inside to store a charge so that it can operate the camera when your ignition is turned off. The main advantage of a capacitor is it's maintenance free unlike a rechargeable battery where you might need to replace that battery every couple of years the capacitor will last a very long time let me show you how this dash cam gets installed into your vehicle unlike many of the other dash cam where it uses a suction cup the design of this requires you to mount this directly onto the windshield so this plastic bracket here has a double sided tape you stick this onto the top side of your windshield Next, you take your dash cam and you slide it in the slot onto this bracket. This piece here is used for cable management. As you can see, there's also a double-sided tape here. And this goes on top of the dash cam. So you run the power cable from your headliner, feed it into here, and then you plug the power into this mini USB connector. On the front side of the dash cam, at the top we have the record LED, power LED, mic LED. On the bottom, there's the power button, menu button, OK button, record button. This is also the up key, the mic button, and also serves as the down key and the mode key. On the side, here we have the microphone, the memory card slot, this rotator allows you to adjust the angle of the camera. Over here on the other side, we have the reset button. On the top, this is the 5 volt mini USB connector. This in port is, says is for GPS module. Over here on the right, this is the audio video out. The camera does not come with a micro SD card. So here I have my own memory card. I'm going to install this into the slot on the side here. 
So let's power this up. Once the camera is powered on, you'll see the recording is started automatically. The record LED has a flashing red. Also on the LCD, there is a flashing red dot. The power LED is the one in the middle here and it's lit. The microphone LED is red and is solid on, telling you it's recording sound. On the LCD display, you have the elapsed time of the recording. Also tells you the resolution of the video recording. On the bottom, we have the date and the time. If you want to stop the recording, press the record button at the bottom here. And then the recording will stop. If you want to turn off the LCD display while the unit is still powered on, press the power button. To turn it back on, press it again. The LCD will turn back on. Now if you want to manually turn this unit off, press and hold the power button for a couple of seconds. It'll turn off. Press the power button again and I'll turn it on. Also, if you turn off the ignition or the power to the dash cam, the unit will turn off automatically. If you want to go into the menu, you need to stop the recording. Now you can press the menu button. Here you can go up and down using the record button and the mic button. First one is resolution. The middle button is the OK button. Here you can select a different resolution. Loop recording. Default is 3 minutes. You can set it for off, 1 minute or 5 minutes. HDR, high dynamic range. Right now it's on. Exposure value, EV. It's default to 0. You can increase the exposure or decrease the exposure. Motion detection. It's off. Record audio, it's on. Day stamp, it's on. So your recorded video will have a day stamp on it. GPS is off. G sensor is medium sensitivity. Now press the menu button and you'll go into the setup menu. Day and time. Here you can set the day and time. Time zone, auto power off is set to one minute. So if there's no activity on this camera or you're not recording anything, after a minute it'll turn off automatically. Beep sound on or off. Language, it's English. TV mode, PAL. We'll set this for NTSC for North America. Frequency, 50 hertz. We'll use uh, 60 hertz. Screensaver is off. Format, do you want to format the micro SD card? Default setting to set everything back to the default value. Car number, you can set a car number for this dash cam. Version of the software. And we're back to date and time. Press our menu again. While you're on the video record screen, if you press the mic button, this is also the mode button. You'll go to the next mode, which is taking still pictures. Press it again. This is the playback mode. Press it again. Now you go back to the video record mode. The dash cam can be installed either to the left or right of the rear view mirror. Now for this review, I'll be installing it to the right because over here on the left, I have my radar detector already installed. So when you install the dash cam on the windshield, you want to give it enough room for the cable management portion at the top, you can remove this top part and the bottom piece has the 3M tape. Take this piece and first mount it onto the windshield. Next you'll need to install the dash cam mounts directly below the cable management part right here. After installing this piece, now you can slide the dash cam on top. Now plug the mini USB cable into the dash cam and route this power cable to the top. You can put the cover back on. Run your wire along the headliner, down the A-pillar, to your cigarette lighter plug. Don't forget to adjust the camera angle 
So you get a clear shot of the road. Here's a look of the dash cam from the outside. While the dash cam is recording, if you want to lock the clip so it won't get overwritten, press the OK button in the middle right here and you'll see the yellow exclamation icon at the top that tells you this three minute clip is now locked. Also with the built-in G sensor, if your car has a collision or impact, it'll automatically lock that video clip so it will not be overwritten. So as you can see, this dash cam performs very well. Both daytime and nighttime recording is very clear. Also the unit is very easy to operate. All the buttons are well laid out at the bottom front side. Also I like the design of this dash cam. It gives a cleaner install compared to the other type of dash cam where it uses a suction cup. Now with the cable management portion at the top, you don't have to use that if you don't want to. But I think uh, it helps with managing the cable. Anyways, I hope you enjoy watching this review of the A118C dash cam. And I will put a link for this item in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.